Hi, I'm Matt, and in this episode, we're going to be discussing the soldering up of your flight controller board for iNav. Now, in front of us, we've got two boards. We've got the V2 board, which is the one which we're going to be soldering up uh, in this episode or this part of the series. And I've already got one here already been soldered up. So let me just bring this round so you can see what's going on. Let me just see if I can zoom in. And by the way, I am using the iPad, so the audio quality is not going to be fantastic. Can you see what I've been and done there for that one? Now, the V3, uh, the V1 board, sorry, are very easy to solder up. The reason being is because they come with all the pin headers uh, and you literally just cut them off or just break them where you want them to, put the pin headers in there loose, upside down on the board, and off you go. Now, a massive tip for you is that when you go to solder the pin headers on, is let me just show you right here is that don't try and put solder them all in one go in fact let me just clean that off a moment and uh, see if i can get that to focus properly there we go is that don't try and solder them all up in one go a massive tip for you is just to, so to solder up one corner and then solder up the opposite corner because if you then didn't get the pins down flat on the opposite side it's a very simple job just to heat up one pin make it flat and then just go and check on it because if you did a whole row it would be a royal pain in the rear so with that said that's the v1 board really straightforward to solder these up but like i said uh, i do class this as actually the trickiest job for the whole setup for inav the reason being these little pin headers on top of here are actually very tricky to solder onto if you've got very, very limited soldering experience so let's move that board out of the way and get straight into it now with the V1 and the V2 boards is that you do get provided, ta-da-da, the pin headers, which I spent 30 some plus quid uh, on an official board, uh, and it didn't even come with any pin headers, let alone any connectors. Really frustrated about that. Uh, so I, actually, I won't be using these, and you might be able to see a little stash just here on my desk, is because you can buy all these different pin headers, uh, off Banggood or on eBay and places like that. I'll put some links to these in the video description for you. The reason why I'm saying that is because I'm actually going to be using some 90 degree connectors. So instead of using connectors like that, which are vertical ones, those are the normal ones and those are the ones which you'll get with your flight controller, which are, by the way, absolutely perfect for the V1 boards. Okay. In my instance, what I've got here is the back end of a micro sky hunter and i'm going to stick inav in this one but we're a little bit pressed for space so what i'd like to do on this one is actually have the pins the board arrangement so normally the board goes that way around but in my instance i'm going to put the board that way around and then have the pins coming out the back the reason being is because i'm only putting this in here for a laugh just to see what it works like if it works great, then that's fantastic. It will stay in here. If not, I've got this board earmarked for a different model. And on the other model, I want the pins going out the back to make the installation a lot easier. By the way, you can turn these boards around, but as a general rule of thumb, you always want the board facing forwards. You can turn these things around, but it does get a little bit complicated and not something which I really want to cover as part of this series. But I am just mentioning it now because this is a real life install uh, and that's what I'm going to be doing with mine is putting the 90 degree bit, a bit of 90 degree pin headers on there and turning the board round 180 degrees. So moving on, let's get this little thing soldered up. The best thing to do, and again, I've already done my homework here. I've already been and just made sure, oh, he says he's done his homework here, but maybe he's not. And it kind of proves the point. That one there had one too many sets of pins on it. So do, before you go try soldering these up, is just make sure, put all the connectors on, onto your board, and make sure you've got the board at the right way round. You can always tell it's the right way up because it will either have the arrow on the top of the board, uh, or the processor typically always on the top, uh, and typically the USB connector is always on the top as well. So it's that combination of things, uh, which, which is the bit of a giveaway to which way up it should go. Now, I also got here somewhere, he says, ah, oh, there you go, it's hiding over there. I'm going to stick those in there, he says. 
There we go. And I'm also going to stick the buzzer one in as well. Now, the buzzer is not really a requirement, but it is something which I'd like to cover in a later episode. That said, they're all on there. That's what I'm going to do for my Pacific setup. Now, do note is a big tip for you. Always do that in my instance. If you're doing like a V1 board, you're going to have all standy up pins and that's fine. OK, but my instance, those pins just let me show this on the camera is that can you see that those are actually lower than these the stand up ones so I'll take those off and put those to one side first and then I'll solder on these first and then move to the other ones okay now when it comes to soldering I don't know if you've ever seen one of these before I've got a flux pen okay you can buy these for about two pound fifty three quid off eBay and it just helps the solder uh, flow and all I'm going to do is just on the top of the board I'm not just going to give it a wipe over so we've got plenty of solder on there and again it just helps the uh, solder flow and I'm again I'm just going to do the opposite side generally speaking you can have enough solder and I'm also because this is a uh, v2 board we've got two pads either side and the, the ground pad on the bottom and I'm just going to give those a little lick with the solder now this is going to be fun trying to do this in one go now if you feel like you don't have enough hands to be able to do this there is nothing wrong with asking a friend to help hold the board for you or over here on the side I've got one of those little helping hand unit things one of those does come in really really useful and you know the ones with the magnifying glass on those do come in really really helpful to keep the board still now to make sure that you can see what's going on I'm going to see if I can get this as close in as possible on the iPad for you. So I know that I've got it the right way up. And again, we've got the SD card slot on the bottom. And what have I done with my solder? There we go. Just got some uh, lead-based solder. We, we like the good stuff here. It rag the nuts off. So what I'm going to do with this one is that I'm just going to solder up this first pin here in that corner and then one in the opposite corner. Now it doesn't matter which corners you go with, the point is that we're just gonna solder up two pins just in case it's on the piss and it would uh, make things a lot easier for you. Go on, get on there. Like I said, it's the hardest bit of soldering these things up. There we go. There's one set of pins or one pin. I'm gonna quickly do the other one. Go on, get in there. There we go. And again, I'm trying to be as quick as possible. Right, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly inspect those solder joints, which you can see on there. And they're not absolutely fantastic, but they are good enough. And let me just click on there so it focuses. So you'll see that I've just been and tagged the bottom left-hand corner and the top right-hand corner. Then I'm going to turn it over and then just make sure it's parallel and it's exactly how I expect it to be, which it is. So that's class this happy days. Now a little tip for you is that what I do when I'm soldering up mine is that I will work, so I'm right handed, so I've got the soldering iron here in my right hand and I've got the solder in my left hand and what I do on mine is that I start in the front one and then work up a row and then come back down and then work up a row like that. Now the reason why I do that is actually really simple, and I'm just cleaning the head of the thing off over there, is because if I've got the heating element and it's warming up the next pin for us, so I'm going to have to lean over it here. Uh, and again, this is my own board, so I am going to go a little bit steady with it. He says. Right, let's get that perhaps cleaned up a little bit too much. Right, let's get in there. Okay, and you do want to go careful because there are other little components on this board and this is not working out very well trying to do this on the camera, but you'll see me, in fact, this is what isn't working out very well, me trying to lean over the iPad. This is about the worst board I've ever soldered. This isn't going very well at all. Let's try this again. So put a little dab solder on the end. And I'm going to leave this in because I want to make the point, like I said, this this is what I class as being the hardest part of the whole thing, is getting these little pins soldered up. Right. I've made a right mash of that first one. Hey-ho. Right, let's get in the, behind the back of there. And again, my excuse, 
I'm sorry, you probably you can only see is my hand. Uh, my excuse is that I'm trying to do this on camera. So normally we just whip straight through them. There we go. Right, get in there. Right. And I've just joined two together. It's not the end of the world if you join two together because you can just get in a soldering iron in there and then just pull it back out again. And this is like the worst soldering job I have ever made for one of these flight controllers. Right. And now I'm picking up speed. There we go. Right. So I've been through. I've even missed two in the middle. Like I said, I, I'm going to leave this in because I want to keep this as well. There's, there's, I want to make the point, even I struggle at times to solder out these boards. Right. So I've, they've all got <laughs> bad soldering. Go on, get in there. Right, fantastic, they're being and done. So what I'm gonna quickly point out on here for you is that once that focuses, what I did is that I went back over with a soldering iron and then just dabbed each one to make sure that each one of the connectors was nice and shiny uh, and also it had been the solder had blobbed all the way down onto the bottom uh, of the pad as well. Now, just taking a second look on there, and again, there's one of the beauties of using the camera is that I can spot one of those, just needs another little quick touch up, which I've just been and done. So, happy days. Right, I'm really happy with that now. Let's turn that over. Now, what I would do, again, it's just the same rule again, is just quickly tack these in. So, I'm going to put them in, in the holes where they should be. So this is the connectors for the OSD uh, and also the PWM channels uh, one, uh, sorry, five and six. Now I need to prop that up a touch. I'm just gonna use a bit of the uh, connector on there. And again, let me just move that round and focus that in. Again, cause it's been a while. I'm just gonna give it a little dab of so, um, flux on there. We also wanna get those over there too. Let's hope these go a little bit easier than the other ones. Clean up the nib. There we go. And somebody, some, I know somebody will ask me about which soldering iron you're using, Matt. I'm using the cheap one from uh, Screwfix here in the United Kingdom, which cost, literally just cost me $8.99 this morning because my last one gave up. Right, so that's tagged in there okay. I'm just going to twitty tag that other one as well. So it's the same process. Let's get that in there. Right, and where's the other ones which have just been falling out? It's always the way in it. Bring that round. I'm just going to use those pins to hold it up. There we go. Again, just going to hold that like that. And again, you need to go, apologies, let me move that round there so you can see what's going on. You need to go really careful because down there you've got a row of resistors and little capacitors. You don't want to go and brush your soldering iron on any of those. You always try and keep your soldering iron on exactly the piece which you're trying to solder up. Or well, not solder up as the moment, as the case. Maybe tag one. Tag two. Come on. Make sure that's in there. Brilliant. Right, so let's go on and get the other one soldered up. And again, it's a not a brand new soldering iron, so I'm probably struggling quite well with that. Let's get that soldered on there. Right, there we go. That's that one soldered up. Absolute nightmare trying to solder these boards up on, on the camera. So there we go. So I'm gonna make sure we're focused in and you will now see that we've got all those pins all nicely soldered up. The flux pen definitely did help. Uh, and we got some nice shiny solder joints on them. So we've got the, bring the knife around so you can see what I'm talking about. So just here, there's our PWM pins, and then we've got PWM, what was it, five and six on this V2 board. We've got our video up here at the top, so I think those two there with the video in and video out. And then down here we've got ground, 
Then also over here, uh, I've also been installed at the buzzer pin as well. And do remember, this is for a V2 board. Now, because this is a V2 board, what I'm also going to go and do is put a nice big blob of solder uh, on here and also on this side and also, of course, on the ground pad on the bottom too. So I'll tell you what, why don't we do that right now so you can see what I do on a V2 board. And the best thing to do, remember, flux is your friend. Two nice big blobs of flux. Again, this is going to be good fun soldering on camera because I've just realised that I'm no good at doing it on camera. The other boards were spot on. Stick a camera in front of me on a soldering iron, not a chance in hell. So I'm just going to load it up, lots and lots of solder on there. So there's, can you see, let me turn that round so you can see really what's going on down there. See that nice big blob of solder on there. That is absolutely fantastic. Now, if you do have a V2 board, don't panic if it blobs over and meets with the resistor. That is okay. So nice big blob going in on there as well. Just wait for that to cool down a moment. Give it a blow. Turn it over. So this is the grain pad on the bottom now. And get some heat on there. Fill it up loads of solder and the reason why we're filling it up with loads of solder is because when it comes round to the time when we need to put the wires on is that we'll pre-tin the wires uh, for the power supply so we've got ground on the bottom of this board and if we turn it over down here on the bottom we've got we we'll have to power, apply our positive uh, from our battery and then also the power onto our ESC and the rest of our electrical components is that we'll put pre-solder the uh, wires themselves and then we'll just put the wire in literally just lay it in and get my knife around on there just lay it in on top of there apply a little bit of heat and then the two things will uh, dissolve and then join together take the solder and iron off and job is a good one so that was the soldering and I must admit that was probably about a two out of ten for me for getting those pins soldered up uh, and I'm just going to quickly check on one of those pins, which no, it's, it seems fine. There's the underside. And uh, yeah, that's the soldering up of a V2 board. Now, if you did have a V1 board, there we go. I've just put pins in all the available holes. And if I turn that one over for you, that's what it looks like from the underside. So my biggest tip for you when it comes to soldering is that you literally tag one corner and then the opposite corner, turn the board up the other way and make sure it's gone in there nice and flat. And if it hasn't, then you just heat up whichever pin it is and then you can get it around flat. And of course that applies through all the pins on the board. So from myself, Matt, thank you ever so much for taking the time to watch this episode and to experience some of the worst soldering I have ever done. And of course, apologies, it's been on the iPad because the iPad does get in there really, really nicely on these tiny little boards. So for myself, Matt, I'll see you in the next part of this series. Cheerios!